Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today I thought we take a look at the Star Wars 6-inch Black Line series, the First Order Flame Trooper. Now, bringing in the other troopers, so we got the Snow Trooper here, and also the Storm Trooper, and while they're all three completely different is the way that they're designed. They still have something very uniform about them uh, that you can definitely tell that, you know, these guys are kind of a, a group or going to be on the same side. One, you know, the black and white colors, but also kind of the pattern style. I really do like it. Uh, similarities, whenever you look at the Snow Trooper and the Flame Trooper, you can see that they both just kind of have that slit. And then they have those little two silver pieces at the bottom of their jaw uh, to where, you know, the Storm Trooper is a little bit different. But then on the chest, uh, you can see that slit there. It's a little bit different. And also so kind of the, the design where you see the black uh, with the legs and the feet, it looks a little bit similar. So um, I, I like that they kind of uh, take cues off each other. So even though they are different, snow, flame, and storm, uh, you can definitely tell that uh, this is kind of, they're a unit together. Now, uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out is the differences between these guys even though you know they kind of look like they're the same uh, whenever you first look at it but they are completely different whenever you look anywhere from the legs going from the shoes uh, all the way to the calf armor and also the thighs uh, also looking here on the side for the belts you can see that those are different uh, even you know around here going around with the belt and also the crotch piece sections uh, the chest while they do have the little slit up there they are different and also the arms and shoulders they're different as well as the head now another thing i wanted to point out is the stormtrooper he's you know he's kind of a you know skinny guy or i guess about average or whatever you know so he's got like that flat stomach and just the chest armor comes over uh but you know since they've been you know building these guys as, uh, you know, troopers since they were kids. Um, you know, you never know who's going to, you know, eat a little bit more than the others during Thanksgiving. And if you look at the Flame Trooper, he's got like a, a belly. So they ha he's got like a little bit bigger armor. So I got to just assume that, you know, the kids that eat a little bit more, and they're like, okay, that you're definitely going to be a Flame Trooper. Um, so anyways, uh that's I, I, just something I noticed, and I was like, okay, that's kind of weird, but maybe that's what it was intended to be. So uh, the Flame Troopers are a little bit bigger and bulkier, guys. Uh, now, as far as some of the details, you can see um, the black and white breaks up all over the place. So, I mean, he's even got, like, armor up in here um, and these little side pieces here in the back to cover up the thighs. So uh, just, you know, very cool. I like all the black and white all over the place. Uh, now, as far as the accessories, uh, we'll go ahead and pull this out. This comes separated in the package, and you can see that it's got a little bit of color to it. So you can see some silver up here and the black paint, and then also some red going around here. So very cool, nicely done. This is all connected right here and goes all the way, and it separates right here. And then you have the gun by itself in the package as well. You just connect it there at the bottom. You can see there's some nice silver and some also some red paint. I don't know if that's showing up for you guys, but uh, very cool. It's on both sides, so very nicely detailed gun. I like it. And obviously, you would just connect that plugging in at the bottom right there. All right, so taking a look at the articulation of the figure uh, and also the details, you can see some gray uh, kind of panel line paint going around. And for the most part, I, I think it's pretty straight. Uh, you know, they kind of get off a little bit up here, but uh, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, you really don't notice it unless you're looking at the sculpt of the figure. So, uh, but you can see there's some nice silver there, the black there. Uh, you do get some more paint right here, and also you know go down in between the belt here and right here. I, I believe no that's just uh part of that black up underneath the armor and then you have this going around here so anyways as far as articulation goes uh you're going to have it here at the head now he's got the ball joint you can see up there and because i guess because it's so long here in the front this head can go down up uh side so it's got quite a bit of movement uh in the ball joint there then it also has the joint that goes front and back so you can Push his head or neck front and backwards. So, and then with the shoulders, uh, even with the armor here, it's still to where you can uh, push it up underneath the chest armor. So, uh, 
It just fits up, up underneath there very nicely. So you can actually get some articulation out of the shoulder there while that rotates. And you have the elbows that bend 90 degrees and they're going to also rotate here. Then with the wrists, these rotate this way and they go up and down this one here I believe this one goes up and down as well yes it does uh, with the waist turning it's all gonna be right here in the chest section so you can see that moving there you really don't have any ab crunch or anything like that just because uh, he's one of those bigger boys but uh, he just rotates right here uh, the belt is a little bit you know loose so it's almost kind of like it's a separate piece uh, so it kind of just slides up and down in between this section, but uh, you can see where it's kind of a little bit thicker here, so it would stop it. Uh, with the legs, go forward and back a little bit. Uh, they can go out about that far. They do rotate here at the thigh. You've got the thigh cut right here. Then the knees are double jointed, as you can see right there. And the feet, front, back, and they have some side to side motion, so... Anyways, uh, I've got this guy. I've ordered uh, you know, two more of him because I want all my troopers in at least threes at the, the minimum. So anyways, uh, there's kind of my look at the Flame Trooper for the first order. And, uh, you know, whenever you put them on the shelf with the rest of these guys and also the uh, TIE Fighters uh, or the TIE Pilots, man, they look really cool. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.